I didn't care if I look like a dude, you know? The ghost had never referred to herself as a dude! Mama! Oh, no, he's using those dirty boy words again! I'm sorry, but who is Mama? Based on club position, I assume it's me. Hello, fellow man children. This is Dr. Gobbles MD presiding. As you see today, we have wonderful cosgoers. Cosgoers, how are we doing today? Awesome. Pretty good. Super awesome. Now, as you can tell, we have the cast of Toradora. How are you folks doing? Cast in the. No? No. Yeah. I think we got the wrong one again. Uh, uh, okay, uh, we'll go with the best question of all time. What is your favorite color? Blue. Green. Red. Alrighty. Now, uh, if you have one, please let me know. Do you have, oh my god, Daft Punk, please, real quick. Daft Punk, got it, yeah! I'm a terrible interviewer. Alrighty, uh, do you have a waifu or a manfu? Mm. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I really have to think about that. I'm not sure. I don't know. I can't decide. There's too many. Uh, Lily from Kawata Shoujo, but that's just me. Can I have a harem? Yes, a harem okay, by all I've means. I've got my whole harem. That's going to take a few hours to list, but... <laughs> I've got my harem, includes, but is not limited to, Sebastian Michaelis. Uh, hmm, who else? Oh my god, yeah. I'm drawing a blank right now. Kind of hot in this thing, but got a long list. <laughs> More ways than one. Um, anyways, uh, I suppose uh, we should go with the important question here. Are you in fact a boy or a girl? Do I have to say one or the other? Well, there is always the option of both. I mean, that's where I'm currently presiding. Well, I am a female cosplaying as a male, so I'm going to go with both. I am a female cosplaying as a um, male-ish, female-ish thing. Um, uh, uh, I'm so bad at tests. False. <laughs> Girl. False. <laughs> that has been the best answer I've heard today to that question. I thank you. That should be an option. Alrighty. Um, we'll go ahead and skip back to the serious. Or in high school, correct? Did I say it right? It's one of them on my to watch list. As you'll see in other videos that I have going on. It's on my list of things I have to watch at some point. I just love everything about it. The twins, beautiful. I'll, forgive me, I'm afraid I don't know your character that well. Oh, I'm just, I'm not from this anime. Okay, I'm just weird. <laughs> right, I'm sorry for putting you on the spot like that. It's it, all right. I'm getting my <laughs> But now, uh, as far as cosplaying, everyone chose something and it all looks amazing. What made you cosplay as what you are today? Well, I really enjoyed the Host Club series, and my favorite characters were the twins, and I figured, hey, it would be really cool to cosplay the twins, and when I found somebody to cosplay with me, I was like, well, since I'm the more dumb and impulsive person, I should be the more <laughs> dumb and impulsive twin. So it all worked out. Oh, I just thought he would be a fun character to play since he's just so, so fun. I don't know. <laughs> my story is going to be pretty similar to Higa-chan. Uh, my sister wanted to cosplay uh, one of the twins and she said, oh, I can't find a twin. How am I going to cosplay the twins? And I said, I'm your sister. How much closer to twin are you going to get? I'll be whatever one you don't want to be. Go be the dumb one. <laughs> Alrighty, fantastic. Uh, how many cons have you been to? Is this the first one ever? First in a long time? Definitely not the first. Um, I've been going to cons since like 2009. And I don't know about individual cons or how many, but oh, this is probably like the probably fifth different con I've been to, but number of con wise, probably more than seven. Uh, yeah, I don't want to sit and count them right now, but I got you. Yeah, a lot. I haven't been going to cons that long. I've only been going for like over a year, but I think this is my fourth. Gosh, I have to say I've been going since I was 13, so like eight years now. This is my first one out of state, but I've been going to all the ones in Michigan that are close enough by, so first Colossal. Very good to hear. Uh, so I take it Colossicon hasn't always been the first stop for you then? Um, actually, our first one was Yomacon in Detroit. This is a, yeah, this is our first Colossal Con. Alrighty. Uh, we as TMC, we haven't really traveled far. This is only our second time at ClassCon. First time we tried to, decided to start a video project. So it's amazing to hear that you guys traveled so far to come to Little Alts and Dusky. Yeah. We're out in BFE, Fremont, Faustoria. It, if you find us on the map, it's because you're zoomed in too far. <laughs> but now, uh, so 
it looks like a tight knit group. You all know each other. Uh, how'd you guys meet? What made you decide to con together? Well, she's my sister. And then, yeah, she met her, so that story's best told through her, one of them. <laughs> yeah, we met on the internet a few years ago when we were both, like, juniors in high school. Something like yeah. child age. Yeah, child <laughs> age. So we've been friends for a while. <laughs> yeah, we both liked hockey, and that was, uh, we met on DeviantArt, and somehow both realized we were nerds, and that worked out well. Yeah. You did say hockey, correct? Did say hockey. Who are you for for the cup right now? Oh my gosh. Kings. I guess the, I'd have to say the Rangers because I like Hank Lundquist. No, I'm a goalie. I got to go for Lundquist. <laughs> I'm a desert dog at heart. Oh. So to watch the Kings be in it, it, it tears me apart. Yeah. <laughs> but alrighty. Um, with the anime, if there's any anime world that you wanted to be transported into, you just go ahead, shoot yourself in. What would it be? Um, I need to pass for right now. I got to think about this. <laughs> alrighty. I got to think about this. Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Probably Pokemon. <laughs> like, as cool as every other anime is, I want a Pokemon. I want to fly on a Charizard and stuff. That would be awesome. All right, fantastic. All righty. Uh, well, with anime, everyone knows that it's more than a cartoon. There's life lessons, and it's not geared towards children as what the stereotype sets up. What lessons have you taken from anime? A lot. I'm just trying to think of an individual one that was really good. Um, I have to think about that. That might take me a minute. All right. <laughs> Every time. Um, you should probably pass over me for now. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. The first thought that came into my head was like the English dub of Pokemon. So it's like, don't be as dumb as Ash. <laughs> just like I. Yeah. It doesn't always have to be stated in the anime. <laughs> uh, don't trust twins. And and um, America really likes to censor things that are really unnecessary to be censored. <laughs> um, I guess a lot of the things I've learned about an um, learned through anime have a lot to do with friendship and how friendship's pretty important. Um, and you know, close relations to the people around you. I think that's really a lot of what I've taken away. Alrighty. Well, we'll get through two more, and then we'll let you guys go on with Conan because I know this is taking up a bit of time. What is your favorite quote? It doesn't have to be anything serious. For mine, it's fully coolie every time they go do the panel change. Fully coolie! I love it. <laughs> you know, I just wrote some quotes down a while back that I really liked, and I don't remember any of them right now. I'm so bad at remembering quotes. <laughs> just like, oh, I had one, but it's gone. Skip me. Um, I guess everything that the Shaggy cosplayer has been saying here, yeah. because I watched a Kakashi lose his mind over the Shaggy, and the Shaggy is my life now. Now, I know you said this is your first cross time. Just as an inside tip, he's been here every year I've been here. He's a awesome. He yeah. is spot on. He's awesome. Yeah. Alrighty, uh, final question. It may not be all that deep, and it answer's already kind of there. Does anyone in your family watch? Um... Like, my parents will watch if it's on, you know, they kind of have to if we're watching in the living room, they'll just sit there and they'll watch it. Um, actually, over Christmas break, we had a power outage and lost cable for like a week, so um, that was my time to shine with my anime DVDs, and we sat down, we watched all of Suritama in one sitting, all of the family, and that was pretty great. No, nobody in my family watches anime. This one in my family watches <laughs> anime. <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you guys very, very much. It's been a great pleasure to interview you guys. I hope you have an amazing con. And by all means, you're more than welcome back. Not that I'm really the one to say that. <laughs> all righty. Man, children, this has been yet another interview. Thank you for watching, and please make sure to tune in for the next one. This is Dr. Gobbles, signing out.